Good morning, Mr. Brown. How are you? I wish I was meeting you under different circumstances, but thank you for being here. Would you please state your first and last name for the record? Daryl Brown. And you are here on whose behalf, sir? Kimberly Hall. Good morning. Good morning. What would you like to say? I just want to let the court know how a special person she was. If she did not deserve this at all. She was a wonderful wife and a wonderful mother. That's all I got to say. So sorry for your loss. Thank you. Again, I appreciate you being here. Thank you. Uh, deeply sorry for the pain that your family's experienced. Thank you for your presence here today. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, your Honor, Kathy Campanza is going to be the support now. Good morning. Would you please state your name for the record? Hi, my name is Kathy Campenza. Could you spell your last name, please? Sure, C-A-M-P-E-N-S-A. -A. Um, Kimberly Hall was my daughter. She was uh, my youngest child. Um, she was a good-natured child. She was good-hearted. She wouldn't hurt anybody. Uh, her only problem of recent in the last years was she had a bad drug addiction and uh, that was what caused her demise. Um, she had two beautiful kids which I am now in charge of and uh, they're doing well. I have the oldest ones doing pretty well. She does have a little bit of issues. We planted a tree in our backyard for her so I noticed that the oldest one will go out there and talk to the tree. And the little one has more problems because she was really close with her mom. And she'll cry and say, I lost my best friend. So it's hard, you know, we, we do a lot of crying. You know, I, I have some of her ashes and I, I, uh, I got a tattoo of one of her favorite things on my arm. Um, we just miss her. Uh, her. Her sister is also on that way to demise, and we just hope that we just hope that maybe because of this situation that she would change. But it's, it's hurt a lot of us because of that, you know. And I hope that uh, Mr. Rembert realize what he's done you know she was she was five foot so I don't think she could have hurt him in any way he's a big man so that's all I have to say thank you thank you for being here so sorry for your loss Miss Kim thank you Sandy Kelly will speak your honor Good morning. Hello. My name is Sandra Kelly. I was your Rembert's wife. We let him stay in our house. We helped him, but this is how he repaid me. I don't like it. I'm trying to get closure for my grandbabies. My grandbabies miss their papa so much. And he took them away. For what? I don't know. Thank you. Sir, good morning. Good morning, ma'am. How are morning. you? Would you kindly state your names for the record? My name is Robert Thomas. I'm Michelle Thomas. We're Morgan Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Take your time. I just miss my daughter. I do too. And it's not just the, the pain he caused with the loss of our daughter. It's our... Do you want to 
might have a seat. No, we got a six-year-old grandson that wants to kill him to be by his mother. And, uh, you know, she, he lived with them. Yeah. They were good to each other. You know, the, this was totally senseless. You know, he, he killed somebody in the past. He should have never been let out of jail. This is how he thanks the society for letting him out. And uh, I know he has an eligibility for parole. I'll be at every parole hearing and make sure he never sees the light of day again. I have nothing good to say about it. Mr. and Mrs. Thomas, I wish that there were words that could be said to comfort you in any way. I'm so deeply sorry for your loss. There's nothing that, there's no sentence that can bring your daughter back. Uh, you get your feelings across very well. I, I hear you, how much you miss her. My heart breaks with you. I'm so yeah. very sorry for it's your loss. It's not just my grandchild either. He left a lot of kids without parents.